Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we offer prayer to you all because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying to the true and living God who hears our prayers and who answers them in his own timing because his timing is perfect. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ, which offers salvation to you all and offers you eternal life if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways. Um, well, welcome to this video, my friends, brothers and sisters. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, we got um, some good encouragement to here today. Um, hope you guys are ready. Um, today we're going to be in the book of Matthew 19, ver verse 26. Only one verse today. Um, so I hope you guys have your Bibles ready. And we're going to be talking about... Kind of... It can kind of go along with doubt, unbelief, and also... Um, not, and also underestimating the power of God. It can also go against those three things. But today, I want to look at unbelief and doubt where I tie these, where I tie this verse into. I probably, I think I've read this verse before, or maybe I have quoted some of this verse, but um, without further ado, flip to Matthew 19, verse 26. Then we'll elaborate on it. Then we'll close this video out. Does that sound good? All right, Matthew 19, verse 26. Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. Um, but with God, all things are possible. Friends, how many of us in our day-to-day -day lives, no matter what we are doing, with with our with our lives, how many of us are praying and hoping for things to be made well? Whether it's a marriage, whether it's a relationship thing, whether it's a financial financial issue, or whether it's a decision on where you're going to go to school, how many of you are waiting for that answer like to come very fast? I know sometimes I am. First of all, that's impatience. Things take time. That's impatience. You got a lot of patience. I'm gonna be just straight up and straight honest with you. You're the, you got. You have to learn to have patience. Um, second of all, things take time. Be sometimes God is not ready to show you where you're gonna go to school or ready to fix that relationship. He's in the process, he might be in the process process of behind the scenes already fixing that relationship, but you just cannot see it yet. Or fixing that financial issue, but you cannot see it. Or deciding on where you're going to go to school, but he hasn't given you the answers yet. But he's in the process. Here. I, I got a better illustration to tell you. Oh, um, you know, we have Good Friday, then we have Silent Saturday, then we have Easter Sunday, the Resurrection. Silent Saturday is the proof, before we get to Resurrection Sunday, Silent Saturday is the proof that God is working on our behalf, even when it doesn't feel like it. Just because it's silent doesn't mean God is not working. Because guess what? On the third day, when he rose again, he proved that he was working. But sometimes he's silent. But sometimes we are too loud, and we gotta turn down the music inside of us. And we gotta center our hearts on God. Amen? Friends, with this all being said, I think we gotta switch our mindsets and we get to have faith. We get to believe that yes, we cannot have things that are impossible, impossible for us. But with God, all things are possible. We have to remember this each and every day, no matter what we do with our lives. We have to remember things that are impossible with us, 
But with God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for God. It might not be the outcome that you want, but nothing is too hard for God. All things are possible. Believe this. Repeat this to yourself. Write this down. We have to remember this, brothers and sisters. It's crucial that we remember this. Amen? Well, if you guys were encouraged by this video, please do, before we do the call to come down, if you guys were encouraged, please share this video with someone that needs to be encouraged as well, that needs to hear the good news of this topic, that all things are possible with God. Yes. Doesn't this... I, sometimes I might not like hearing this because, because it's like, okay, this is discouraging because I, I want to just the answers to come now, or what if, or I know all things are possible with God, but what if God doesn't do what I ask of him or doesn't give me what I want? Who cares? God knows what, what's best for me. Or he's, because what if, what I want might harm me at the end of the day, so I'd rather take what God wants and go with the all things are possible thing, not with what Shane Kia wants. Because Shane Keo is just a human being at the end of the day and will ultimately fail. So, that being said, let me give you the call to come to God if you have never came to God before because this topic might be pretty hard for you all to hear. And I understand, but we're going to get you on the right track for this topic to become easier for you and easier for you to understand. And here's what you do. You pray a simple prayer of faith like this by believing from your heart. As you do. Lord Heavenly Father, I confess my need for you. I confess I'm a sinner in need of grace that only you can give. Please come into my life. Wash me clean from the inside out. I give my life to you. Amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer today for the first time, or we prayed that prayer known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, welcome you back into the family of God, because scripture says when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice with you. And I've been praying for this moment because this is, friends, brothers and sisters, truly the most important decision that we can ever make with our life is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and accepting him as our personal savior. Because... Turn to these will. This thing is will. For the rest, if God rose from the dead on the third day and died on the cross, then, the, then this is all will. Then we better believe. I can't make you believe. Only God can. I can only give the call to you to come to God. God can do the heart work. So, if you just made this decision today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone. We want to give you resources. The next, the next steps to take us on, on this journey. We're not going to mock at you. We're not going to press you. We just want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this journey that you made today and this decision, important decision that you made today. Um, and also, we just want to let you know. Uh, we also, we just want to know if you made this decision so we can be praying for you. Because we want to be praying for everyone because we believe in the power of prayer. Um, well, are you good, friends, brothers and sisters, are you ready to receive the blessing that Jesus Christ himself promises over you and over me? The blessing that gives us encouragement each and every day? And put your hands up. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that all things are possible with God. And with man... It's impossible, but with, with God, all things are possible. Amen? Well, brothers and sisters, family and friends, I, I just said this before, but I'll say this again. If you were encouraged by this video and you feel like someone else needs to be encouraged, go ahead, click on the share button, share with them, because we got to get the word out there more and let people know about encouragement. There's people that are struggling so much who need encouragement, who need to be, hear the good news of God. And we are the city on the hill. We as Christians are the city on the hill who can do this, who can go share the good news. So I encourage you to do this. Share it to your email. Share it to your text messages. You do it. But get the word out there if you feel like, if you are compelled to. Do not hold back. Don't let shame hold you back. Don't let embarrassment. Nothing. 
go all out for God by sharing this video if you feel like someone needs to hear it. If you need prayer or just want to talk, feel free to reach out. I'm always here for you. Keep Christ number one as always. Much love. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Have a great day and God bless.